We're here in the Shearwater Hotel and we're delighted to support the Pulse event, Vision for Growth. Tonight is evidence that businesses are still continuing to thrive. We're having our showcase event for the Pulse Club, which is about bringing all the enterprises together, both new and existing, to showcase what we have in the town. So we have approximately 35 businesses here showcasing tonight, some of them existing and some of them new that just set up in the last, in the last year, uh, 2019. We have three wonderful speakers who have come to talk to us about um, entrepreneurship and the importance of small local businesses in the town. We have Sean Gallagher and Eleanor McAvoy from Dragon's Den and our very own Pat McDonough from Supermax. I have three pieces exactly like this um, to be presented to the three speakers tonight. It um, is handcrafted from recycled copper, completely unique on the map of Banlasloe and then the heart is also copper but fused with enamel glass and the heart is placed on Banlasloe and it's the vision for growth Banlasloe 2020. I think 2020 is going to be a very exciting year for the town. Um, first of all, the Galway is the European capital of culture and that will extend out to Banlasloe and other larger towns in the county. Um, and secondly, I suppose we've come to an end of the, of the street works and the new streetscape that is going to encourage shopping locally and doing business locally. So, Ballinasloe is basically, it's the centre of the world, the centre of Ireland. We have such wonderful connections. We have uh, the motorways, we have two points on the motorway, we're only an hour and a half from Dublin, less than an hour from Galway. We have a great commuter town, but not only that, there's a lot of new businesses coming into the town. I think the rejuvenation anyway is making a huge difference. Like it's encouraging people to start new businesses and even accessibility downtown. And it's just, you know, even the shop fronts look great downtown now, especially John Low Street with all the cables gone and everything. It looks great, like there's a new craft shop there and everything. And it's just coming along a, a good bit in terms of how the town looks. I know it's a silly thing, but we live in social media, Instagram times, and it helps all of us who are doing social media for business to have beautiful things to show. The Enterprise Centre, I know from my friends that are out there in their little businesses, has been great because it's providing a home for so many small businesses starting out that wouldn't be able to do it if they didn't have that assistance. And like even for me coming here this evening, there's businesses here that I didn't know we're here. It's, it's, it's a great hope of a town because of how well it's located in the country. I think there are many people who are very passionate about Ballinasloe and I see so many green shoots coming up through Ballinasloe. It's a wonderful place to raise families and it's a fantastic place to, to live. I reckon this time next year even the landscape of Ballinasloe will be quite different with the new factories, new housing, the new cinema, the new estates coming, new businesses all the time. So. I mean, I really think around the cusp of something really great here. Also for our young people in school that they can see that we have great opportunities for them also later on. I think next year, especially with the town being redone now and with all of this activity and the growth and everything, it's going to be a good year for businesses here because people are banding together and helping each other. We don't want to be, you know, a part of a satellite town or somewhere else. We want to really show the benefits that we have here in Balmaslow and really be a destination town where people come to Balmaslow because of all the things we have from schools, sporting, arts, culture and enterprise. This is a place where they can live and work.